All right, since we just completed the installation, let's take a look at the front end and see what it looks like. And if you notice, nothing much has changed except that the menus, the space between the, the logo and the menus shifted, you know, a bit. And if you go to Jump Social and click on it, this is what it looks like. But there's a problem with this because now you have the menu and the top the logo it's you know all the space that we don't necessarily need so what we're going to do at this point is before we even start working on the settings we are going to remove some of the menus items that we don't need so let's go on to the menu main menu and this are all the items here that are on the front end the menus but we don't need all these right now so we're going to delete some of them and let's start off by deleting the drop downs so you go to select status published and you scroll down to the bottom where it says display number you want to select all and this is going to pull up all the current items on the, the current menus. So what you want to do is you want to click that check all. And for right now, what we want to delete first is all the sub menus, which are these. So I want to get rid of all the sub menus. So once you've checked everything, you want to uncheck the main menus, which is the home the feature, the widgets, the icons, zoo, and you know all those. So let's uncheck those first. So uncheck the home, uncheck the features, uncheck the widget. Scroll down, check the icons, check zoo, gym, uh, gym social. I believe that's all. Uh, all right. So once you've unchecked those, you want to click on unpublish. And what happens now is we've unpublished all the additional menus that we don't need. But there's still that little gap which we're going to fix in a moment. Okay, so next we want to move the menus around. So we have the home. And we are going to change the features to about. change the title and don't change anything else yet just change the title save and close and we're going to have change the widget to contact delete the alias save and close all right, let's refresh it now see what we have all right so we've changed a couple titles but we'll still have a few that we need to change so let's go ahead and just delete disable the icons the zoo and the joomla and publish And if you notice, once we took those other menus off, now we have all this space here. So let's go ahead and take off the search because we don't need the search right now. We'll put down a different section on the website. So go to extensions, module manager, and go to select position, search, and you want to click this the green just click the green check mark and it's going to disable the search so refresh and that's disable and the point again for this is I want us to work on navigation and this is going to give a really clean basic site so when you click on the gym social you now have something like this And the goal for this is we are going to change the home page so that the home page now looks like this instead of it looking like this. 
we're going to change it so it looks like this okay and to do that let's go back to the menus alright first of all you want to set the default right now the default page is this page and we want to change that so you want to click on set default versus jump social click on it and once you've clicked on it at this point we don't necessarily need this home so I am going to click on the home and where it says home just put in one for the alias put in one the reason why I'm doing this is because if I were to leave this as it is and I wanted to rename this Jim social to home Jim wouldn't allow me to do that so click on save and close alright the next we want to disable this home because we don't need it anymore so click on the green check mark and that will disable it so once you refresh this page it takes you to this so now let's change this gym social to home save and close And next thing we need to move the position so it goes up. So click one, two, three, and click on this save order. So now the order of the menu is home about contact. And let's refresh this. And we have the home about contact so when someone first come to the home page this is what they're going to see they can be able to log in and access their account from right there alright so now that we have the top part figured out let's scroll down to the bottom and change this stuff here so we'll go to extension I'm sorry you go to extensions template manager And you want to click on the the use solar the last template at the bottom you go to profiles okay I just realized something with this particular design you would have to change these on the footer so let's close this out and now this everything here is based on module position and in order to know where this particular item is located where this is built with HTML5 and CSS in order to know where that's located you want to click you want to find the module position where it's located and to do so you want to click on options it says preview module positions is currently disabled so click on enable save and close and once that's enabled you notice that you can click on this click on the preview this is going to pull up the different module positions and now we can locate this particular part we know that it's located in the footage some of it is a little hard to see but you can be able to make that out so now let's go to extensions module manager this is where you can be able to you know move some things around and let's locate the footer we have two footers here we have the footer menu which is these and then you have the footer that we have to edit now you have this little lock on there to be able to get rid of that lock just click on this check check box there and you click on check in and what happens is that's going to um, automatically just open that lock for you sometimes that happens where you notice that some pages have a lock on it to, to unlock those pages just check whatever page it is and you click on check in 
So let's go ahead and edit. Okay, now you have this. So I'm just going to delete that copyright 2013 by your site.com. So whatever your site is, you put that there. And you want to save. Let's save and see what it looks like. Right click. Alright, so if you notice here, you have this by your site. And also, you can also link this as well. Put a link to your site. Now, one thing, and once you've done that, save and close. One thing, too, that I forgot to do that I have to do is if you look at the editor for this, it's the basic editor. And this is, you know, I don't like this editor. It's, it's, it's bad. So we need to install an editor called JCE. Let me just grab that here real quick. JCE component. Alright, it's right there. And then upload and install. And this is going to give you a much more better uh, what you see is what you get editor. So that's been installed. Go to site, global configurations. select site where you see default editor you want to select the JCE save and close and once I refresh this page you notice that this editor is going to change this is so much better so now you can be able to link that to wherever you want that to link so I'm just going to put in Right, save and close. Once you refresh the page, you know, we now have the home page set up and this bottom part edited. So now we are going to start putting some more content in and you know building this thing. But so far it's looking pretty good, pretty good.